Hey, good morning, Dexter Lake. Last week, we said your mind is a servant, either to your spirit or your flesh, and you choose which one. When the spirit is weak, the mind runs errands for the flesh. Uh, when we constantly build up our spirit by communion with the Holy Spirit, and uh, then the mind comes under the influence of the Word of God and the Holy Spirit who lives within us. I've been citing a lot, Romans 12 too, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So again, life transformation follows mind renewal. It's important to understand that. And what we feed our mind becomes a mindset. And a mindset is impossible to change without changing what our mind is filled with. I know that sounds like a cliche, but uh, typically when we hear the truth about breaking strongholds or renewing our mind, we get busy trying to change our mindset. And we quickly learn that it's not an easy task. I heard someone say once, and you probably have to, well, if you think it, you might as well say it. No, no, not true. Not true. Uh, that could be a disaster. What, what's in our subconscious uh, needs to change. And a mindset is what controls us. The mind is what we control. So the only way to change our default way of thinking, uh, our mindset, what is in our subconscious, is by filling our conscious mind with new information on God's truth, filling it with divine revelation from Him. Once the conscious mind is filled to the overflow, it will slip into the subconscious mind. So what will become our default way of thinking is what we have continually filled up with our I'll say controlling our mind, controlling the way we think, and that is with God's word and worship and praise uh, and, and letting, let this mind be in you as Philippians 2.5 says, which was also in Christ Jesus. Amen. I hope this has helped someone today. God bless. Have a great day.